Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Shadow Sonic. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Shadow Sonic, we're going to begin with his eyes. So I'm going to begin right here and we're just going to begin by making a line that's going to go down and we're going to come up and back down a little bit like that. Kind of like a crazy looking S. Next we're going to start here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to go down and it's going to pretty much do the same thing. We're going to go up and then bring it over. Right here I'm going to make a little oval shape. Then right here we're going to bring a line down on each side. Next we're going to bring a line over, we're going to come down, and then we'll bring it back up here. Make a line that comes down and then just curve it around. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that comes down, and we'll do the same thing over here, just bring it down, and it kind of goes right into that shape of the nose that we made. Next we'll go down and up for the pupil, and same thing here, down and up. Right here I'm going to draw a line that comes down for the mouth, and another one right here. Make a line that goes up and down for the eye, and then one more, kind of make that little eyebrow. Above the eye, let's make a line that comes up, and then we're going to go down, just to make sort of a triangle shape. Next we'll draw that same shape inside of here for the inside of the ear, but this time we'll make a line across. We'll do that same thing up here, make your triangle shape, with another triangle right inside of here. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up and will connect right to that ear. Right here, let's draw a line that's going to come out to a point. Next, we'll bring it back up here. Now I'm going to bring this up a little bit higher, right towards the ear. Next up here we're going to add this other big spike, so we're going to make a point that's going to come out, and we're going to bring it down to about here. Right here we'll go down, come up to a point, and curve it down here. Next we'll go down and bring it back here. We'll do another spike here. We'll come down up to a point and bring it back. He's going to have this big red stripe on top of his head. So we're going to draw a line that's going to come down to a point and bring it back up here just to get that big stripe in there. Next we're going to make the arm. Let's start right about here. We'll make a line that comes out. We'll go over and bring it right back up. Starting here we'll draw a line that comes in for the body. And right here we're going to go out and bring it in. We'll make a nice long line right here, with a line that goes down, over, and then up. I'll draw another one. This one's going to curve down, and then we're going to go over and bring it back up. We're 
right here will make a line that comes down and in, down and in. We'll go down and then in and up a little bit. Make a little sad face. And draw a line that comes around here. Right here, I'm going to make a line that goes down. We're going to go over and then bring it in. Then right on the edge, let's add another little line here. Make a line that goes up and down, and down and in like this, with a little curve. Now starting here, we're just going to curve this around, kind of make that little bracelet that he's wearing. We'll draw a line that curves down and up, and then we'll make a line that goes down, and then bring it up here for his thumb. Make a line that comes out. We'll go down and up from one of the fingers. We'll make another one here, and then one more that goes down and up. Now, starting here, we're going to draw this line down. We're going to go over. We'll bring this up here for a leg. And then we'll draw a little line over. Right here, we're going to kind of curve this line. We'll go over and then redraw that same shape. We'll draw some lines across. Line that goes down, over, and up. And another one. We're going to go down, over, and up to start the top of his shoes. Starting here, we'll draw a line that comes down. We'll go up and down. And we'll swing it over. Little line that curves and bring it up. Over here, we're just going to go down. We'll make a little bump that comes up. We'll bring it over like this and up. We'll draw a line that goes down and we'll just kind of follow that same shape along the bottom of each shoe. Right here we'll draw a line that comes down and over here we'll make a line that comes down. Right here, we're going to make a line that's going to go down and bring it back. And we'll curve it back here. It's one of the spikes, but it really looks like a shark fin. First tail, we'll just go out, come to a point, and bring it back. The last thing we want to do is add a little detail on his fur. So what I'm going to do is right here, we're going to add a couple little points on each side. and a little point at the bottom. And there you go, there is your drawing of Shadow Sonic. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. And there you go, there is your drawing of Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.